Hello and welcome back to In Your Face. I'm your host Jack Morgan along with, Je with Drew Stahl and Christian Junta. Our first topic today will be, to, will be, we will be discussing where Jimmy Butler will go. Jimmy Butler has had many teams that have, are interested in him. Heck, there's even been a sign and trade rumor with the Houston Rockets and the Philadelphia 76ers. And this is a very interesting topic. Uh, Drew, where do you think Jimmy's going? Well, as you might have heard, the Lakers made a trade to open up a max slot in, in their roster. And I don't see any other player to sign with them except for Jimmy Butler. So I think the Lakers have had some talks with Jimmy Butler, and I think Jimmy Butler will soon sign with the Lakers once free agency opens on Sunday. All right, I, I strongly disagree with you there. Jimmy Butler, he's already – he doesn't want to be with two other superstars. Jimmy Butler wants to be the man on the team, and he can be the man on the team on the Sixers. You may be asking, how about Embiid? How, how about Embiid? How about Simmons? But Jimmy Butler is really the only one on that team that whenever they want to in the clutch time, fourth quarter, game seven, can put the team on, their, on his back and carry them. So I think he definitely wants to be a sixer. Well, he did see that in game seven of, of the Eastern Conference semifinals. He did have that big clutch layup that ended up tying the game. A lot of people forget about that. I mean, I sure don't, but that a very interesting topic and we shall see where he goes next. The MLB pennant rate, the MLB race is heating up and in the NL East especially. The Phillies are the closest back there, four and a half back of the Atlanta Braves. And Drew, where do you, who do you think is going to end up winning it by the end of October? I think it'll be the Braves because if you watch this team, they don't have a whole lot of holes to fill. I think they need to keep the roster where they are. They have a great outfield, they have great infield, they have a great pitching, they have a great bullpen, which is something the Phillies don't have. And I think that'll hurt the Phillies later down in this stretch. Um, I definitely think the Phillies are going to win the division. They're still only four and a half back, and they're coming off a hot streak, winning four in a row. It was against the Mets. The Mets are falling apart. But still, those are some great wins in there. Um, a ton of offense, which is exactly what we saw in the beginning of the season. We were hot. So um, I definitely think the Phillies have a chance to win the division, and um, I think they'll make a few moves at the deadline, and they will win the division. And our final topic is the MLB All-Star voting. There's been a lot of controversy about it, people claiming it is a popularity vote. Drew, how do you see this? It is definitely a popularity vote. One example of this was Freddie Freeman got the starting position over Josh Bell last night. And if you see the stats, it is absolutely no competition at all. Josh Bell is a National League MVP candidate, Freddie Freeman. He is above average, but there's just no way that Josh Bell should be not starting this All-Star game. Freddie Freeman is not just above average. Freddie Freeman is probably the best first baseman in the NL. Josh I'd Bell, so. his all his stats are inflated from the start of the season. Freeman's been consistent all year long. Plus, he's batting like around 330. Bell has cooled off a little bit, while Freeman has only stayed consistent and heated up. And with this whole MLB All-Star vote, I definitely don't think it's biased. Real fans, real voters, which are 90% of these people, are going to vote for the best people possible. There's only the 10% out there that um, you know, will vote for their team and players that don't deserve it. But those 90% definitely outweigh the 10%, and this all-star voting is not biased. Well, that's all the time we have for today. For my co-host, Drew Stahl and Christian Junta, have a great night, everybody.